Hi, my name is Little Annie. I want to tell you about a little girl we helped. I remember her clearly. She was so sad. Peggy was a happy little girl until a bad thing happened to someone she loved. And then she cried and cried. Peggy's best friend died in a terrible car accident. They had been friends since kindergarten, and Peggy and Sally did many things together. They went to school together, played dolls together, and were both on the school soccer team. They were inseparable. When Sally died unexpectedly, Peggy did not know what to do. She felt awful. She was very, very sad. Her grandmother saw how much Peggy missed Sally, and after weeks and weeks when nothing got better, grandmother decided to do something. She told Peggy she was taking her to see the therapy horses of Team Velvet Incorporated. That's us. Velvet, Precious, and Little Annie. That's me. I'm over here. Here's where our story starts. Peggy's grandmother brought her to meet us. She met Dr. Edwards. She's our psychologist, a kind doctor who talks to kids. She directs Team Velvet's Helping Herd. Dr. Edwards invited Peggy to come back and see us. She said there are many children who come to Team Velvet because they have lost a loved one and it makes them very sad. She said our horses are therapy horses for children. Kids don't ride them, they interact with them talk to them, groom them, and play games with them. Each of us has a special horse handler, someone who makes sure everyone stays safe. And sometimes they do silly things to make us smile. Dr. Edwards says after a while things start to change. Grandmother and Peggy came back the next week. Peggy learned to groom me and take me for a walk. We talked heart to heart. Some weeks when Peggy came, we talked and played games. Here we are playing horse ball. I like that. She does too. Sometimes when she visited, we drew pictures of Peggy and Sally. We put Sally's picture on our wall of honor where we are reminded that love lives on in our home. Dr. Edwards may read a story and all the horses may be together with the child as a way of honoring the loved one. Sometimes children write a book and put their own pictures in it. We do many things here to help kids. Me, I just provide love. Over time, Peggy learned that Sally would want her to have a happy life. She also learned that the love she had for her best friend would live on in her heart. Eventually, Peggy didn't come to visit us every week, and even today, when she thinks of the helping horses at Team Velvet, she smiles. She pictures each of our faces. Velvet, Precious, and me, Little Annie. And she knows our love is still with her. And her love is still with us. Love makes us rich.